Hello, Namaste, Om, Amitabha. Thank you, brothers, sisters, for being here with me, for allowing yourself to continue to be your truest, most authentic, genuine self, for not allowing your personal mind to take and get a hold of you to go in other directions, for your attention to always be present. It takes so much discipline and so much efforts at some times. So I honor you and thank you. If it was, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And the funny thing that it is easy, but the gravitational pull is in a different direction for the collective. So it seems there's an illusion that it, it, it is hard and there's an illusion that this is actually hard to be your true self because of that friction of the gravitational pull of more or less of where the collective's at versus where you and your heart is at so it's like two currents of water in a stream and uh there's just two different flows happening so thank you for continuing to stay within your integrity and your love and your light and just always holding high vibrations and always holding space in your heart for everyone thank you and for everyone else just coming to this point of doing your spiritual work and discovering your true self thank you as well for showing up it is a priority right now to know yourself it's not even the thing of you know i will get it done when i get it done or um when i'm able to this is your life that's at stake this is your soul this is your spirit this is your moment right now time is is very precious right now time is your most valuable asset so if you are not using your time wisely right now with allowing yourself to be your most truest self within the time and you're you're not creating what you want you're not creating for anything to be peaceful for anything to be present for anything to feel good for anything to make sense for for you you're still leaving room for error and uh, wrong choices because there is no perspective behind to know what it even wants and that's what we're doing we're allowing ourselves to give that perspective so that way once you know yourself then you know what you want and you know that it, it is all possible and how it becomes possible and and you know the actions it take for whatever to be possible within your purse you know your 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 experience right now and what i'm <clears throat> really emphasizing is just the importance right now that time is very valuable it is your most valued asset right now this moment you're listening to this uh video and watching this and spending your time on this that means a whole lot because with your attention you are directing your energy you are directing what your next possible experience will be and you, you start to see the layers of your future but you're always in the present so you can design your future in an easier way more at ease and therefore always creating what you want and not leaving room for error, not leaving holes for you to fall through in the future, not leaving uh, possibilities to come up because you didn't take care of certain parts of your life and direct certain attention and energy to, to, to those things. So you left the door wide open for, you know, negativity to come in or for, um, you know, just something that you don't want so it all ties back in all ties back into just being your true self 
being present, being here, absent of thoughts, being that see you 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 feel like you're leaving that world behind which you are, but you're actually not really living it. The world, the real world, the reality world, you're not leaving that behind. You're actually coming to it. <laughs> so what you're leaving behind, a lot of it is just our attachments, our yeah, our attachments, our expectations, our this whole identity and thoughts of what we built up and worked towards. That's what we've been directing our time, our energy. So therefore, it is becoming very uh, unsettling. But the fear only comes when there's lack of knowing thyself. And when you know thyself and you know who you are, fear cannot be there because you fear is a product of uncertainty, of not being in a foundation or perspective that is stable. Uh, I hope you guys followed me on that. So when something's not stable, if your perspective's not stable, and there is no strong foundation behind your tr who's seeing this, your true self, your who's experiencing this, who's experiencing this experience, you right now, if there is no strong foundation in that scene, then th the experiences that are happening out here are going to be very unstable and insecure. And that's the fear. So you, do you kind of really get what I'm saying? So f when you're your true self, fear can't be present and it is when you're not your true self that fear becomes like a symptom of not being your true present and trying to eliminate fear from not knowing yourself not actually getting to orienting yourself in a clear perspective so that you can see clear and there is no fear then the, the fear is always going to be there. It is inevitably. And here's the key to eliminating it. Here's a way for you to fully like not know uh, new agey or, or nothing uh, funny about. It's not even a philosophy. If you're really understanding what I'm saying, it is very clear for you to be present and be very confident and strong and powerful and just be at peace be and you start to really embody your peace your love your presence everything starts to make sense everything starts to flow because you're you're seeing ahead of time um you know your next move because your true self actually doesn't even want to make moves it just wants to just you know it, it it's just that peace it, it, it needs no action and when the actions come they come organically they come intuitively they come spontaneously the whole survival reality reality like you gravitate to the real way of how you're supposed to navigate through this world and you know that's where fear comes from when not knowing how to orient yourself you know to the world there's no point of orientation so when you're dealing with life everything's like a sense of confusion the sense of like you know like uncertainty you know but it's like i said it's because there's like a a, a, a veil put in front of you which is the personal self and that's distorting the reality that there's nothing to fear everything's okay all those thoughts all those things that it's telling you the story of the mind whatever all that stuff you could just put it to the side and like like <laughs> you'll be in reality you'll be okay you are okay you are fully okay and fully supported and loved like that is just stories of the mind and i know it's challenging for a lot of people to be able to get to that point but that's why i'm saying it's like right now you're spending your time wisely you're you're doing your your work to be in your heart and be present and 
not just kind of mindlessly or, you know, letting your attention just be entertained and be distracted and, and you know, yada, 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 to where the fears start to come and all that world of, like, the mental paradigm. And that it is a very efficient way to <clears throat> allow yourself to always be here, to always, because you're not, that energy of fear is not going to pull you no more. It's not going to take your gravitational attention anymore. You know, even when it does come for reals, like just because you're out in the world and there's someone with a different energetic field and, and, and consciousness and they have a strong charge in their in their you know, what they're projecting is strong, so you're going to feel a lot of those energies and thoughts coming from them. So, you know, it's, 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 that's where you're, the challenge of you to balance yourself in the presence of other people that are like really, really in their head and, you know, strongly emotionally charged as well. So then they're creating this big magnetic field around the energy and you guys are in, within like, you know, shoulder distance and they're projecting their confusion their fear their all this stuff and it's like overwhelming your senses because you're like whoa 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 see you start to get all like you know like kind of disoriented yourself but all you got to do is just be present observe let whatever things happen to your body happen let the energy you know just be and then eventually as you are continuously present and in your heart and in your point of like a good point of reference and orientation as your true self and your conscience, pure awareness, then all of that passes and your peace and your energy kind of becomes the, the, the one that radiates stronger and you give an opportunity for another individual to center into your world as they balance whatever they're balancing while they're in your presence we're doing this all day you might not be aware of it right now but you're doing this with your relatives with your co-workers with your neighbors with everyone you're just not aware of it so this is what i'm saying it is a priority and important to be aware of these things and work on these things to know your true self so that way every interaction you're having with every individual in the world it is coming from your authentic true self in a fully wholesome way that you are here and imagine the possibilities. You are in somewhat control of the experience without you needing to be in control. You're just um, guiding yourself through life within your intuition and, and, and you're guiding others through yourself as you know, you're know you making your daily choices and making your daily life's you know, actions and activities and um, everything that you, revolves around your life and <clears throat> this is so powerful and you know I don't like to talk in too much ways of like trying to get you to understand concepts in, in the mind so that you can say, say like oh I get it in the mind and then hopefully get you know motivated in the mind to, 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 to dive in you know I want you to actually experience it. And that's why I like to just speak less of in this way and more of just like, you know, being here, being present, allowing ourselves to really connect heart to heart, allowing ourselves to really just, 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 you know, express and be that, you know, universal self that, you know, surrendering to the higher self and letting that just, you know, fully, fully immerse yourself and, you know, fully, fully live your heart like, hmm, where everything becomes one and, you know, you, you, you level up. That's, that's what's happening right now. You, you, you go and you go into higher planes of uh, consciousness and dimensions and um, we do the same thing for the world. We are evolving. That's our ev next evolutionary step. 
our next evolution is to do that and we're doing it and you're doing it and I'm doing it and millions of people are doing it now and people from other dimensions are doing it, angel beings and <clears throat> even alien beings that are, you know, that already evolved that come from, you know, Pleiadians or Orion or, you know, wherever in the galaxy. There's in even dimensions and the future people and the past people. There's just... This is all one big festival. <laughs> and it's amazing. This is a cosmic festival of love. And everyone's here to party and enjoy this next evolutionary state of our consciousness, our experience here in this world, our love, our unity, our everything freely, where everybody's like, whew. I'm glad I went through that. I'm glad I evolved from that. That's a big weight off my shoulder. Thank you. So I'll leave it on a positive, really, really high vibrating note. I love you guys. Namaste. Amitabha. All is love. Peace be with you. Om.